Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a structural mechanics problem, and we're going to be solving for an unknown reaction force. Uh, so here's what the question says: The following simply supported beam is in equilibrium and is not drawn or is drawn not to scale. Uh, which of the following most closely resembles the force at B? We see our four answers in kips there. And, uh, and so we know where to go from here. We see that our units are in feet and kips. Um, and we have a distributed load of 0.33 kips per foot over 15 feet. Um, okay, so let's, let's go ahead and get started here with our uh, unknown reactions. That's step one. So this guy will, is a pin, so it's going to have an AY associated with it. And it's also going to have an X. So an AX is also going to be, that's an A. And so uh, let's see, we have a roller over here, so that's going to act perpendicular to the surface it's acting on. Uh, so we're going to call this guy BY. And uh, it, it just helps me picture, really it's not BY, but it, it's going to help me picture this in our, uh, in our problem. So uh, let's, let's see here, let's, let's write this out. We need, to, we need to find the moment. That's step one. We need to take the moment at A. So we're going to go take the moment about A. Uh, and this is going to be equal to zero and this is equal to so what we need to do is multiply this by a force times a distance uh, if you don't remember what a moment is uh, it's your force times your perpendicular distance and counterclockwise is a positive direction so if you're right-handed your hand curls to the left that's a positive moment um, so we need to keep that in mind so this guy this 0.33 kips per foot that's going to act in the negative moment direction it's acting against uh, our right hand rule if we place our hand on the a it's pushing against our uh, our hand so we need to find sort of uh, we need to take this distributed load and make it a concentrated load at the midpoint um, and so that's going to be just about right in here you multiply that 0.33 times 15 feet uh, and that ends up being 4.95 kips And so we know that this force is going to be 4.95 kips. And we need to multiply that by its perpendicular distance. Well, that's going to be half of 15. So that's this way. And there's your distance. So this is 7.5 feet. So 7.5 feet is our perpendicular distance. Uh, and then we have that BY. Well, this BY is actually, this is what I was talking about, the BY. It's acting at an angle. Uh, we have a resultant and then we kind of have an X force and a Y force. If you think about it, if you break this uh, resultant up, that's kind of what you're looking at. Uh, we're going to have to break this up into the smaller forces to get our perpendicular moment. So we need to go ahead and do that. Well, we know that this guy is 4 to 5 ratio for our, um, for our dimension angle. We don't have to use sine, cosine, or uh, anything like that. Well, whenever you solve for the hypotenuse, you end up with 6.4. So that's that guy your, for your ratio. Um, and so we need to keep that in mind whenever we're doing this. Uh, we're going to go plus, since it's acting in the positive moment direction. Uh, and we're going to use this ratio to our advantage. So we're going to go 5 over 6.4. And we're going to multiply that by our force, which is by. Uh, times four feet this is your perpendicular direction that four feet uh, five over six point four is actually just uh, we we just solved for this guy okay so we just solved for that smaller uh, x force and so now we need to solve for the smaller y force now so that's that guy um, so let's go ahead and do that let's go plus four over six point four we need to multiply that by by I'm going to erase this. And so this guy is going to be multiplied by its perpendicular distance of 20. So after that, if we simplify some stuff down, you end up with 0 equals uh, negative 37.125 kip feet. And then we're going to add uh, by and we're going to simplify this down. This stuff ends up being 15.625. Feet. Uh, by is in kips, we need to remember that. And so when we solve for by, 
Uh, this ends up being 2.3838 pips. So let's check our answer bank. It looks like it's going to be 2.4. Oh. It looks like it's going to be B uh, 2.4. So I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.